going on here? I haven't seen such a crowd in front of the town hall since, well, since, since the mayor wanted to introduce a tax for the lack of political commitment. Please form a line, people. Draw a waiting, <coughs> draw a waiting number and the mayor will see you in a short while. What's going on here? Did someone refill the peanut jar? A girl fell from the sky. They say she's a real beauty. The mayor is about to decide who's going to give her shelter. Yeah, well I doubt he'll have a hard time to decide once he's heard my story. I saved that girl from the dark exchequer. I am responsible for her. Nice try, buddy. But I've made up a good story, too. Mine even has a dragon in it. So move to the back of the line and draw a number like everyone else. The mayor wants to decide what? Who will what? Give her shelter? Lotech thinks the girl should be um, integrated into our community, and someone has to nurse her back to health. I hope the mayor will choose me. She could give me a hand in the mud pits. Ever since I cut my fingertips while scrubbing rust, I tend to get infected cuticles. You want her to scrub rust for you? That's outrageous. Why? What do you want the girl for? Rufus? Rufus! Huh? Oh, what? I'll skedaddle. Number 66! Almost my lucky number. Where do you think you're going? I'll go to Elysium with Goal. In that case, you're in the wrong place. This door leads to the mayor's office, and access is strictly by numbers only. So draw a number or bugger off. Goal! I have to talk to her. She's got to know who her savior is. Rufus, do you have to snoop around here? Hi, Inspector Gizmo. That's Dr. Gizmo. As you know, I hold all three positions in this emergency station. And right now, I'm a doctor. And as a doctor, I have the right to ask, why are you bothering my patient? She's an acquaintance of mine. I wanted to see how she's doing. Her name is Gold. So, <laughs> the Elysian is an acquaintance of yours, eh? Very funny. Well, as long as your lacking sense of reality doesn't keep me from doing my job, knock yourself out. Look after your acquaintance, but make it snappy. Enough daydreaming for today. My patient needs rest. Well, at least I guess that she needs rest. In order to know for sure, she would have to wake up first. She's unconscious. What's wrong with her? What does she need? To be more conscious, obviously. For further tests, she would have to be awake. Unfortunately, none of my remedies seem to work. Well, how about some really strong coffee? Ha! <laughs> the coffee that can be of help here needs to be brewed. Doesn't every coffee need to be brewed? Yes, right, but... Hey, not to worry, Dr. Gizmo. I have a plan. Do the world a favor and spare us your plans, Rufus. Your wacky plans have never done anyone any good. Except that the mayor granted me a larger file cabinet for patients' histories. Hey, 
Goal! Goal! Wakey, wakey! <laughs> Fast asleep. Very good diagnosis, Doctor. Oh, well, you know, it's just that I'm an expert in uh, <laughs> sleep. I thought you're on your way to Elysium. Have you come back to pay your tab? Oh, that. Oh, well, listen, Lonzo. I, uh, I plan to do that, but constructing an escape vehicle costs a lot. And, uh... <laughs> Don't worry, Rufus. No one here expected you to make it. Huh. Ah. Great. Thanks, I guess. Lonzo. Yeah? Did you hear about the stranger? The girl? Yes, but I don't care. Don't tell me you want to start quarreling about her with all the other idiots. Well, you know me. <laughs> I'm always the first in line when... Uh... Idiots are quarreling. Yes. Long time no see, Lonzo. Long time indeed. Anything new? Hey, you know how Kuvac is. Nothing ever happens in Kuvac. Yep, without me, this place would be dead. Well, without you, there would be fewer explosions. I know that much. It must be pretty sad for all of you that I'll be gone soon. It's almost unbearable. Almost. How about a shot of that old worry be gone? Well, that depends. Will you ever pay me what you owe? Of course. I just need to get some money first. But you know that I'm always true to my word. <laughs> If you find a new word that makes you look less like a frog. Well said, Lonzo. Well said. Do you have something that can give someone a real boost? Since when are you ordering coffee? Did you break Tony's coffee machine again? How often do I have to tell you that you don't filter oil that way? No, this is not about simple coffee. I need something that really, really makes you wake up. A kind of ultimate pick-me-up. Lonzo, are you okay? Okay, just forget I ever asked. I'm off. No, no, wait a minute. I think I know exactly what you need. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Hey, wow. You have a pipes, tanks, valves. It's a, it's a, it's a thing. This is an espresso machine. But this is not just any old espresso machine. This is the mother of all espresso machines. I tuned it myself. And you wound ribbons into its hair? Indeed I did. Okay, but one question remains. What exactly is this espresso? Well, to be honest, I'm not sure myself. I think it's a kind of highly concentrated coffee. The people of prehistoric times drank it. Uh-huh. And then they forgot to switch it off. <laughs> I see. I built the compressor, following all the instructions that I found. Unfortunately, the pictures were pretty blurry, but I think I figured out what ingredients are needed. Take the recipe. It's right next to you on that bar stool. If you bring me these ingredients, we can start brewing. In the meantime, I'll have found my life insurance policy. I hope. Ho 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 ho! I'm so excited! <laughs> what a scrawl. 
Okay, I need clear, reviving, and energy-rich water. The coffee powder must be black, stimulating, and made from hot beans. And, hmm, none of these things can be found in Cuba. Yeah, never mind, though. Being a master improviser, I bet I can find plenty of alternatives. emergency station has opened again. Well, that must mean I can choose the more daring options now. Hello, Hannock. Oh, hey, uh... Rufus? Exactly. Why aren't you working? You mean, why am I doing just the same as you? Because some joker removed the magnets from the detonation plan, that's why. Hey, I am very busy, actually. I've been running around all day, getting things done, and uh, picking stuff up, and, 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 and things like that. Well, how about you find some new magnets for our detonation plan? Then we can finally continue work. What exactly are you guys doing down there? What do you think? We are trash hunters. We search for useful trash. Most of the time, trash is just junk, and so pretty useless. For instance, I have a whole collection of car keys for cars that have been scrapped ages ago. Did you hear about the woman from Elysium? Yes, but I really don't care. I already have a woman I can send into the mine shaft. It's too narrow in there for two women. <laughs> Love must be such a wonderful thing. Maybe you have my key, too. Mm, I don't know. What was your name again? Tony. Let me think. Tony, Tony, Tony. Nope. I don't think I got your key. Forget it. Done. Anything else? Uh, do you have any idea where I can get water that's rich with energy? Mm. Very often we find batteries in the junk. Those are always filled with some kind of liquid. We call it battery soda because it's got that fizz when it touches the tongue. Is that what you mean? Is that your parrot? Yes, we use it to detect dangerous fumes in the mine shaft. Oh, what do you do when that happens? We get a new parrot. <laughs> I see. How exactly does that detonation plan of yours work? Well, that's pretty exciting, actually. Yeah, I doubt it. The chief detonator uses magnets to mark the positions of the next three planned detonations. Then he rings a bell, and I give a signal to the miner who will on his part prepare the explosives in the mine shaft. And after that, we blow the thing up. <sighs> and then you start with the exciting part? Um, no. That's it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> I knew it. Uh, talk to you later. See you, uh... Rufus? Exactly. <laughs> Gizmo isn't here. That means I can fiddle around with his occupation modes unnoticed. No great in the world can hold me back. <laughs> there. It moved, while you were blinking.
crap. Locked. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. I'll save my telekinetic powers for later. <laughs> it looked much lighter lying in that cupboard. There's no flight risk. It's too heavy to lug around. Doesn't matter though, because I'm always cautious. Strike! 